Hello YouTube, Aerosassin here today, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be doing a Balanced Droid PvP video, and I'm going to be running a bunch of different new stuff. As you can see, I've switched a bunch of things up, I am running Star Lord instead of Incarnation, running Swarm, uh, I'm still using Iron Feather and Thorns, I saw this guy on YouTube do a weird kind of essence slash uh, talent build, so this is what it was, minus Iron Feather, he didn't use Iron Feather. Uh, essences is uh, Memory of the Loose Dreams. Uh, Blood of the Enemy, and uh, Essence of the Focusing Iris, and it's basically a haste type of build, and uh, my haste was actually pretty dang low, so I'm going to give this a shot. I switched out everything for haste as well, uh, so we'll see how this actually ends up turning out. So I'm going to go ahead and start off here by dotting up everything. I don't know which Restro Druid to really go for. We'll just go for this one, actually. Uh, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this build works considering the fact that I gave up some damage for it. Uh, but so far, I guess I just obliterated that guy. But uh, I definitely needed some haste. It was basically at 11%. I'm not going to lie. I sacrificed so much haste for um, versatility and mastery because I play feral and balance and I just figured go for the bigger damage. And well, yes, that build definitely did a lot of damage. You guys saw how much star surges I was hitting for, like 130Ks. Uh, and so on and so forth. I definitely needed more haste, but like I said, I played Feral, I played uh, Balance, it was just, I was just pretty much what I did, so. But anyways, as you can see, the haste build is <laughs> extremely nice. I just completely obliterated everybody still. Uh, I did have a Berserker and all that stuff though, so that's that. See if I can go ahead and get some Sunfire Moonfires up real quick. Actually, we'll just go ahead and stealth because we don't want to mess with people, not yet, not yet. Because especially since the fact that guy has a healer now. Uh, Alright, hold on. Looks like they're going mines as well. I'm going to get some Sunfire Moonfires up on that guy real quick. Okay, I guess I can't. That was pretty close. Pretty close. Oh, hey, Mr. Rogue. Let me see if I can 1v1 you. Can I 1v1 you? Actually, I don't even think I have to 1v1 you because I think you're about to get some... Uh, uh, You're about to get rogue yourself. I'm on my way to mines after this, so I'm going to make sure these guys wipe before they go over to Waterworks. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure this guy gets out of stealth. No, he did not. How did he not get out of stealth? Eh, that's alright. It's not that big of a deal. going to head over to mines before we lose that, though. But yeah, I think this build is actually pretty good. This is pretty much my first... Uh, you get This is pretty much my first reaction to the build. When I first saw this, I was like... I don't know about this, but I've run Star Lord before, so don't get me wrong. Uh, Star Lord is nice, but uh, Incarnation is pretty much what everybody uses. But yeah, if you guys haven't tried this build, I would actually suggest it. It's actually not that bad. Uh, I definitely don't think he picked um, Fairy Swarm, Thorns, and Cyclone. I just don't think uh, running Cyclone over Iron Feather armor is good. Um, you could also switch out Thorns and Swarm if there's no melee, of course, uh, if you want to. But pretty much for the most part, that's what I think uh, is better for this type of build. Uh, let's go ahead and get some Soul Rest, Star Surge, I finish him off here. I think with everything proccing and like literally every haste proc I have with this build, I think I can get over 40% haste. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much with all Star Lords, Blood of the Enemy, and stuff like that. So, but yeah, I feel like this build is actually not that bad. It's actually pretty decent. Uh, let's, after we wipe these guys, I kind of want to go test it at Lighthouse and see what happens. Uh, just for the just for the heck of it, we'll see. But in the meantime, we'll wipe these guys out real quick. This guy's screaming Waterworks help, but there's really only like two guys left. All right. I want to check out Water or I mean Lighthouse. Um, who has no damage? Uh, let's see. Sebastian, you're a Restro Fella. Okay, so Fella is the one who's going to be guarding the Lighthouse. So you are a Night Elf Hunter, uh, so you're either Camouflaged or Shadow Melded. And I'm going to assume you're probably Shadow Melded. Uh, but first, let's just go ahead and kill this Hunter real quick, just for laughs. Just for the laughs real quick. Oh, you can double tap? You think you can double tap? Oh, shoot. I was gonna bull rush. That's alright. I'm going bark skin his burst. His double tap burst. Oh, no, you interrupted me. Whatever shall I do? Oh, no. Oh, hey, fella. 
Wait, weren't you that same, uh... I was trying to root the pet, dang it. Let me root the pets, just real quick. Um, let's go ahead and... Oh, you know another trick against Beastmastery Hunters is if you can go ahead and Sunfire and Moonfire them and put thorns on yourself, and while the pet kills you with all the dots on it as well, it'll kill the pet and it'll force the hunter to either shell, revive the pet, or run away, etc. Uh, okay, I'm on my way to help out the teammate real quick if we can go ahead and kill this guy. Let's put some star surges out. It would be great if this pet could get off me. It would be great. Three hunters. Oh my gosh, it is a party in here, man. It is a party. Well, I would disarm you, but there would really actually be no points. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and save it. You're beast mastery, so it doesn't really help much. I'm going to disarm that hunter, though, but he'll probably feign death. There we go. Let's get some star surges out on you. Force that shell. Go ahead and try and light sight this real quick. I uh, was going to say try to line of sight. I'm going to have to run away here. Oh, look, there's another hunter here. I'm taking a lot of damage. This is why I run Iron Feather here, pretty much. Oh, boy. Taking a lot of damage. I chose to off heal that guy more than me. Go ahead and root beam this guy. Iron Feather. Thank you <laughs> so much. I love Iron Feather, dude. That's why I run Iron Feather over Cycle, and Iron Cycle would definitely be useful, but I definitely think this build is good, dude. I definitely think this build is good. Like, even running all this haste, you can see how much damage I'm doing on still. I, I gave up all, literally, I changed all my um, enchants to haste instead of mastery. I changed so much, I even changed my rings, uh, so I lost more damage that way. I lost a pretty good chunk of my damage just from switching everything to a better haste uh, type of build. So I had like 11% haste, and then I'm at 17% without all the procs. So, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, I know you guys screamed and yelled at me before, but yeah. So, basically this build still does good damage, but I definitely don't think I can do as um, high star surges as I did with the uh, other stuff I switched to. I'm just going to go ahead and trick at that. I can't let him do it. But uh, let me know what you guys' thoughts are on this build. If you have not tried it, I would actually recommend trying it for yourself. If you don't have these essences, then try something else. But I'm pretty sure everybody has Blood of the Enemy by now. Uh, Blood of the Enemy is actually not really that hard to get. It's not loose. The only thing hard about Blood of the Enemy is to freaking win a PvP Island Expedition. Because Blizzard does not let us solo queue it for one thing. And if you lose, it takes... Uh, you have to find another group because people just rage quit. Unless you have friends, but... Pretty much for the most part, that's always the hardest part. But, um, yeah, so. I definitely like this build. I actually think I'm gonna play this more often, to be honest. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys' thoughts are. And, uh, yeah, 31% haste from that, and then it drops, but still pretty good. 4.4 million damage, 12 kills. Yeah, I, I know I keep saying it, but this build is actually pretty good. I honestly was not sure about it at first but um it's pretty good i'll see you guys later